Hello everybody! Today I'm going to show you how I turned this piece of junk desk into a vanity for my bedroom. As you can see, the top on this table is done. It has rust stains all over it. It was sitting out in the desert for probably two or three years. And it's just, it's completely done. It should be thrown away. But uh, I put the tacks along the front. These are just upholstery tacks that I held between my two fingers and nailed in. I took a really old, this brush is probably 10 years old, really old scrunchy brush. And the paint that I am using comes from a specialty paint shop. You have to go there to get paint that goes over top of linoleum or veneered surfaces. It's a special paint and they will have it, have them tint it to any color that you want. As you can see, I'm starting from the edge and I'll work in from there. I want this to look kind of like wood, make sure there's no hairs in it. I want this to look kind of like wood, so I want there to be streaks throughout like wood pattern would have. So I'm just going to go along the edges to make sure they're completely covered. Now there's all kinds of woods and all of them have different grains to them and different variations. Basically what you want to remember is to keep straight strokes and then you can make little knots if you want to where it's darker in some places. But basically keep straight strokes all the way across. All right, now I'm going to work on the other edges and go end. If you don't want to do this, you can start on one end and go all the way across, but I like there to be a lot of variation, a lot of mistakes, a lot of kind of accident looking things. It just makes it more interesting. At this point, the paint is starting to dry in some places. Some of it's getting darker. You're gonna actually see what color the paint is supposed to dry like, and what the finished product is going to look like. You can take off some of this paint if you want to, if you think you have it too dark in some places. I personally like the look when it's darker in some places. When you stain a piece of wood, some of the wood absorbs more of the stain than others, so you are naturally going to have darker patches in some places. So to me this looks natural. When you finish with the, you know, first basic coat, if you want to go ahead and put, you know, some little squiggles in there for the knots, just how a tree would normally grow and deform inside. You can just take some more paint, have it a little thicker through there. I'm going to go over the thick parts, make sure they're not too thick. Just smooth everything out. It might look a little cartoonish. I'm not perfect at it. This literally took me like uh, three or four minutes to do. And then I let it dry and it was done. The finish on this is permanent. I have put things on it. I have scratched it. None of the paint comes off. It's very durable. To care for it, all you have to do is wash it with soap and water. You're not ever going to scrub this off. It literally bonds to the formica, the veneer, whatever you're painting it over. When you get to the finishing stage, don't spend too much time over it. Don't try to perfect the look. Just make sure everything is smoothed out. And to me, this looks like an old wood table. We were gonna throw away this table so I really had nothing to lose but I actually like how it looks now in my bedroom. Here I'm just showing the finishing color after it's dried. You can see that it has somewhat of a sheen on it, protective. There's not a lot of perfection going on here but it does have a lot of character and it looks a whole sight better than the other one did. And this is with all of my hair tools and stuff on it. So I figured we would go ahead and put this to good use. Sometimes a girl just needs a makeover. A little bit here and a little bit there. And now yeah, that's perfect. Thumbs up if you like this video and found it helpful. Have a great day, guys. No kitties were harmed in this makeover.
We make videos of our everyday life here in Israel. Please subscribe to follow along. Take care.